Shifting gears, South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff and his U.S. counterpart reaffirmed their ironclad joint defense posture against North Korea's provocations. Now, this may include the deployment of Washington's strategic military assets to South Korea. That includes a supercarrier and bombers. Our Connie Kim has more on the prelude to the coming defense meeting. The military chiefs of South Korea and the U.S. have reaffirmed their commitment to establish a strong joint defense posture as North Korea's nuclear threats continue to escalate. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said Wednesday its chairman Lee Sun Jin highlighted the need to strengthen Washington's extended deterrence to tackle North Korea's threats during his telephone talks with his U.S. counterpart, General Joseph Dunford. The first meeting of the Extended Deterrence Strategy and Consultation Group took place in December last year, with both Seoul and Washington agreeing to regularly deploy U.S. strategic assets to South Korea. Dunford added the newly appointed U.S. Defense Secretary James Mattis' decision to travel to South Korea for his first official trip is a reflection of Washington's strong will to protect its ally and stated the U.S. will pour efforts to strengthen the Seoul-Washington alliance to maintain peace in the Northeast Asian region. Amidst continuous threats from Pyongyang, including a possible test launch of an ICBM anytime soon, a South Korean military official said that the U.S. military is mulling over sending various strategic military assets, including the San Diego-based supercarrier Carl Vinson and B-1B bombers. Furthermore, the deployment is to be reportedly discussed between South Korea's defense minister Han ming gu and his U.S. counterpart Mattis during their first meeting later this week in Seoul. And ahead of Mattis' visit, the U.S. Pacific Command announced 12 F-16 fighter jets will be deployed this month at Osan Air Base, south of the capital, Seoul, and they'll be stationed for up to nine months to monitor possible North Korean provocations. Connie Kim, Arirang News.